You need to stop giving people truckloads of money. Roman, are for the at empowerment, empowerment. Do you think that is right? Nev Media, Media. Media. Look, I don't have to tell you how PF has failed. I've never learned that. Tama ufila kama tembo kwa landi, tama ufila kama tushinda ni nani uliambi kwa landi. Ave ne vale landi, ave ne vale isokolwe. They are decampaigning themselves. They are decampaigning themselves completely. And all these things, given a good opposition, strategic opposition, kuti mwa mwena, kuti mwa mwena, because that was a big, big mistake. That was a big mistake. You don't do that. You are the same PF. That one, you just go quiet. You invite people to, to apply for, for, for to be adopted. And then you do the selection. After the selection, that's when people should start campaigning. Not campaigning before. Eh? Vabinwe. Eh? Nanani, nanani ule umbi. Eh? Even vabinwe, wanawari kwa tenda lama shakushita matraki. But I start donating. I'm telling you. So, in and day, I'm just speaking out so that you know that I'm not a fool. When I keep quiet, don't take me for granted. Don't take me for granted. I see these wrong things. And at the moment, you watch the over. Watch the over. You are, you, you are mocking us. Mule tu tumpika, mule mwana kwa tu wali pualala, tatuwa pualala, tule mwana, tule mwana, we are seeing what you are doing, we are seeing, efe mule tulira masuku pamitwe, and itakuwa wongu mtuli onse, ufo kumulira masuku pamitwe, satale wa atumule mbo wachipuba, wapu hili na muli tumfwe, 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 emo wapu hili hili, Mule tuwe paika, hiyo kuli COVID, hiyo government haikuwe tenda lama. Meanwhile, you are busy dishing out money. Lero mwawe panoku we pati, no, at misisko. Fimwe fintu, when you are caught pants down, kuika la fie. Uri ya mtu, uri ya ulewa ti, alewa JJ. JJ, ewa tampire, he said, dollar siri ya wanted to to bribe me. At dollar siri ya wanted to bribe me. Eh? I refused. Veka veka wene wa PF. Wala iso kolona. Veka veka. Eh? Dora Sriya wanted to bribe me. Eh? Now, today, somebody comes up. Na nshikenda lama pa bed. Mwambo kula nati yo. Ni UPND. Where? Where? You think. Ba UPND mwani mwana pa ba UPND wale yanga shenda lama. You can say whatever it is. But in as far as financial discipline is concerned. HH is number one. HH is number one in as far as financial discipline is concerned. HH is number one. Of course, kuti mwaewa ti waka so indeed. But unfortunately, you know, for you to succeed in as far as financials are concerned, ufila kwa taka so you must be disciplined. You must be disciplined. Of course, it doesn't, you know, I've got my own issues with him even regarding that because you need to balance up. You need to balance up. Taufi no kuba careless, but at the same time, you must also have a soft heart. That is the issue. Taufi no kuba careless, but you also must have a soft heart. But what you are doing with PFT soft heart, what you are doing is carelessness. You are mocking us. You are making us upset. Fwaba le tamba koko mule ona ulu pia. Chile tu kalipa. Chile tu kalipa. Especially Barandela and for the professionals, especially the business people that have supplied things to government and you're not paying them. Chira kalipa, chira kalipa sana. Awa na wawo bale fiko ya kuma skulu. Bale la ale nsala. Bale wa tamfya mayanda. And yet, imuwa makadazi. You are wasting money. And ite timu vepa, tinda lama mpanga wansa you are businessmen. Ite timu vepe. A lot of you, if you were to be followed, to show us where you are getting the money, you can't. You can't. You can't explain it. You can't explain it. Eh? I posted a video. At yo, this one is a musician. 
iwe musician you work with which musician is able to make that kind of money that boy is flashing on the table which musician eh mwacho ndima kitu kale hata mboku imba ali mbeni mbo sana shingi wali mwana pale ale posa ukenda lama like that because they cut that he can sing for a pf but they cut that ali kwa tamano jk wali mwana pale funda ule finda lama like that ulio mwajita ishiviko na kuishiviko leo mune wa jio ni 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 ati ni musician ni musician eh Ishinda lama vale vapera vave na vale ma aspirant ma aspirant vale vapera at singa ka njimbira ka rwimbo vale vapera 1 million at ni musician it is all wrong it is all wrong so inena alandira na alandira kuna mieva what you are doing what you are doing is very wrong you need to be disciplined the responsibility to control financial flow in the country lies on pf it lies on pf it lies on government and i'm wondering what is happening lastly as i'm concluding what is happening i'm really wondering what uh, this dec and anti corruption commission are doing because a disciplined country you would not see that kind of nonsense happening where is dec where is the anti corruption commission where are they where are they It is not right it's just not right what we are seeing is not right You shouldn't that amamune from you stop taking money out of the treasury to start distributing it by cash let the money be in the treasury and come up with policies to help people in a more a formal way in a more systematic manner not this not this You are not showing us that you have got good hearts, you are philanthropists, you are showing us that you are corrupt. That's what you are showing us. When you are dishing out money like that, it just shows that you are corrupt. In the name of Wombere we no wino. You cannot go and be dishing out in public like that. You can't. In the name of Wombere we no wino. You cannot go and be giving girlfriends so much money buying them cars, buying them uh, houses. You can't. In the name of Wombere we no wino. You can't. You can't. What you are just showing that you are you are corrupt. That's what you are showing us. I think in Alanda sana. Thank you very much for those of you who have followed my presentation. Basically, what is going on in the country is not right. We have economic challenges, but these economic challenges will not be finished by individuals dishing out money in that manner. The only way we can sort out these challenges is coming up with government policies that will help this situation you have got uh, even this because even uh, what is this social cash transfer eh how can you justify what you are doing when people on social cash transfer have not been paid how do you justify that how do you justify your good heartedness you have got people registered by government to be receiving money on social cash transfer the budget is not even a lot The budget is not even a lot. Eh? But you go by Edgarungu you go and buy Makopolo for CBU. Eh? And yet just a few months few months ago we had many students crying to have to remember my exams. We can't write exams. A lot of people couldn't write exams because they couldn't pay for their school fees. Ero mwana ba strachi basti Makopolo na ole so mwabera chirenda the following day. Chaingira muna nikani cha kweseka mwapo na le satatemen that is you, you, that if you think properly if you are really thinking no ma inda lama nga chakwa ta mshombera kuno wino na nguna shimonsha ta kwa kutontongana wino that's a problem money that comes without you working for it without you planning for it you use it uselessly you use it uselessly That Marco Polo bus if you had paid for students I don't know how many students you would have paid for to write exams and that would have been proper empowerment that money that you are giving pama rallies and everything and everything I don't know how many students you would help I don't know I don't know how many you know suppliers you would pay with that money take the money back to the treasury 
and come up with policies. That's why I like Kagame. Kagame has got, has got uh, you know, a, an account where people put money for these kind of things. So all the businessmen and the politicians in, 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 in Rwanda, you won't see politicians running around with money. Uh -uh. Kagame has said there is an account, I don't know what they call it, it's, it's in Kenya, Rwanda where they put money and that money that's when they use it now as charity you can do something like that you can do something like that everyone puts money there then government uses it maybe you should do something like that because what you are doing is not helping if anything it's just encouraging corruption and chile to karipa imitima ine panondi chile i am not happy that in their chula and yet vaka pyo pyo ava icha vavula na na mano teshwe nefya kuchitana shu eh vale lala panda lama ah wata chile wama vane naya good day hey everybody just very quickly hey non very quickly i just want to briefly mention something here that's it's bothering me it's bothering a lot of Zambians across this country. And you guys need to hear from people like us. Okay, and when I say us, I'm talking about vloggers, I'm talking about people that have some type of presence on social media. You shouldn't only listen to the people within your circle. And when I'm talking, when I say you, I'm talking about the current administration. I always refer to them as the current because governments change. That is the nature of a democracy. Zambia is not a totalitarian state. Zambia is not a monarchy. We do not have a kingship system here. And so because we live in a democratic state and we are in a democratic dispensation, it's accurate to say current administration because you know, there, there, there's coming a time when this administration we, will not be there. And the, the, the following administration, there'll come a time when they will not be there. So it's important to contextualize. But I just wanted to take three minutes to advise the current administration, in particular, particularly the Secretariat of the Patriotic Front. And I want you to get this. I want you to allow this to sink in your spirit. Because what I'm saying to you now is basically the reflection and the attitude of many Zambians all across this nation. And it's this. You need to stop giving people truckloads of money. And then watching them display that money on social media. Let's begin there. You need to put a stop to that. You have the structures, you have the wherewithal, you have the ability to sit with your people and tell them how to conduct themselves. They are, they, they are your people. You can sit down with them. You can just as easy as it is to dish out gobs and truckloads of money, as easy as that is for you to do that. It's just as easy to sit them down and say, Vane, Twarachita so. Te chakwa shok record dama videos nam wikate impia. Kwatimwikete amasaka ya bunga. You need to do that. Let me tell you why. First of all, we are in an election year. You must know this. And being an election year, you have to be very careful with the type of messages that you convey to the public. Right now, things economically are tough for everybody. 
It doesn't matter who you are, whether you, you rub shoulders with the higher echelons of society. It doesn't matter if you push a wheelbarrow. It doesn't matter if you fly a plane. Things right now are difficult. And because they're difficult, it's unwise of you to arbitrarily dish out truckloads of money and tell the people that you give that money to while wearing your party regalia to show off with that money, to do nothing but show off with it. There is no value in what those boys are doing. What is, tell me, what is the value of standing with three, four, five hundred thousand kwacha, stacks of kwacha, which is worthless at this point, let's be honest. What is the point of, of showing someone with stacks of money and, and then flaunting it on social, on social media? What is that? What's that for? What's it saying? Now, in case someone hasn't told you, okay, let us tell you. When I say us, I'm talking about vloggers because it's, I'm not the only one saying this. There's so many other vloggers that are saying this, so many other political commentators that are saying the same thing. And you don't have to be in opposition politics to read the writing on the wall. Let me tell you why that's a bad idea. It's because it's not relatable. In the current dispensation, in the current economic hardship, or hardships, plural, it is unwise to give a select few huge amounts of money and then watching those select few flaunting that money on social media. It is unrelatable. There's a huge disconnect. You must know this as leaders. What you're saying, what you're allowing is you are creating an atmosphere of acrimony. I want that to sink in. I'm, go I'm going to say that again because I think that's very important. Unbeknownst to you, intentionally or unintentionally, you are creating an atmosphere of acrimony. The average Zambian doesn't have access to mountains of money. I want you to get that. And so because the average Zambian doesn't have access to mountains of money, don't give young boys who have no ability to use or properly invest that money. Don't give it to those young boys and, 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 and then say to them, go on social media and show off. You're making a big mistake. I mean, that's lethal. Put a bullet through that. Put an end to that. So may I submit to you, administration? May I submit to you, secretariat? You need to stop doing that because it, because it, it's sort of irritating us. And I'm being honest when I say that. It, it, it's, it's sort of yanking our chain. It's, it's kind of boiling our blood. It's ruffling our feathers. It's putting us in a place of frustration and you have no idea. Stop it. Now, this is what you need to do from here, moving ahead. You really need to take ownership of that blunder. Okay? Because, because that's what it is. It's a, it's a political faux pas. That's what they call it. It's a political gaffe. 
It is a monumental, colossal, gargantuan gaffe. But you need to take responsibility and say, it's our mistake. We made the mistake. You make it worse when you shirk. You know the word shirk? Not shake. Not S-H-A-K-E. Not shake. No. To shirk. Shirk. S-H-I-R-K. To shift or to avoid the blame. You make a mistake when you shirk the responsibility and then you say, oh no, it's not us, it's them. Stop that. That's annoying. Man up. When you make a mistake, make a mistake. Own up to it. Just say, Twari Rufianya, not Rufianya. If you want to to the power by you, Rancha by you, but someone empia. Muriamu ku someone empia muya. Why no papa social media? Firabadela and empia. Mountains of money. The average Zambian on the street doesn't have access to that type of money. What do you think they're going to do to you? I mean, honestly, what do, what do you think they're just going to sit back and twiddle their thumbs playing PlayStation 5 games? No. They will hold you responsible. They will blame you for their demise. They will blame you for their suffering. Take responsibility and put a stop to this nonsense. Come on, guys. It doesn't take a genius to figure out that you, your formula of doing things is completely wrong. You can't give gobs of cash to young boys. Boys? How does a 20-year-old have access to 300,000 kwacha? in this dispensation, in this economy. How? You tell me how. What has he done to deserve 300,000 kwacha? Where did he get it? Those are the questions that the average Zambian is asking. So when we see a 25-year-old black Zambian with 300,000 kwacha cash who has no fixed abode, who has no known source of income, aburikirafi. You know the word ukuburikira? Aburikirafi. He just shows up from nowhere. We begin to ask questions. And usually the way it happens, the way it works is, when we begin to ask questions, we need answers. Now here's the trick. If you don't give us the right answers, that's where the problem is. So when you begin to shirk the responsibility and say, no, it's not that safe for anybody, yeah, you're causing a huge problem. Just take ownership, fix it. You guys have... There's so many smart people in your group. Sit down, strategize, fix it. But for right now, you need to stop giving these young bucks three, four, five, six, seven hundred thousand kwacha for them to start fooling around on Facebook with it. Just, just, just put a stop to that, okay? So I, I don't know, I don't know who's responsible for that over there at the secretariat, but I'm telling you now, you guys need to convene a meeting and put a stop. To this nonsense. We don't want to see young people carrying mountains of kwacha in this economy. Come on, guys. Come on. Get real. Do the right thing. Okay, that's what I wanted to tell you. I, I, I had it on my heart to share that with you because it's, it's sort of annoying, not just me. It's annoying everybody. And so I figured I'd come here and tell you about it. Okay. Alrighty. Bye.